KSLA News 12's Jasmine Franklin joins me now. Jasmine, uh, can you tell me a little bit about some of those recovery efforts that are happening currently? Yes, people staying at the American Red Cross shelter that I spoke to earlier today are very grateful to be in air conditioning and also for the assistance that they've been receiving. Now, it's been nearly five days for those without power after storms ripped through last week. I visited the shelter earlier today and the people that are there are don't know what they would do without it. Without this place, I don't think a lot of us would really be making it right now. Thousands are still without power across the Arklets Hex. We have no electricity for the last four or five days. We can't bathe, we can't wash clothes, we can't cook. So this is the best option when you have a family and with health issues. Until power is fully restored, both the city of Shreveport and Caddo Parish opened several cooling centers. And these guys have been so amazing to us here. The Morning Star Baptist Church is open 24 hours for those impacted by the power outages. I'm very grateful for the schooling center, else I wouldn't be able to have my AC pap going and be able to breathe at night. And they're helping, you know, with water, food. People staying at the shelter say they're grateful. Being able to stay in the air conditioning, I actually got to sleep for the first time in four days. The city of Shreveport says dozens of people experiencing power outages stayed at the shelter. Last night there were 47 people that took advantage of that. They also are serving meals at Morning Star Baptist Church. The American Red Cross is providing those meals. The Morning Star Baptist Church says the shelter will stay open until power is restored in the area. And with people being that friendly and treating you like your family, that's the best feeling that has helped me here. Now again, the Morning Star location is open 24 hours and there are several cooling centers located across Shreveport and Caddo Parish. You can find a full list of them on KSLA.com. For KSLA News 12, I'm Jasmine Franklin.